Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to look at National 5, Application, Specimen 1, Questions 4 to 7, which is basically all the vectors questions. Right, let's look at the first one. So question 4, the diagram below shows two direct line segments, U and V. Draw the resultant of U, uh, sorry, 3U plus V. So we've got to add the vectors together, but before we do that, I've got to times this by 3, this vector here. So I'm going to draw them in this diagram below. Okay, well, let's do that. So... This one goes three along and, sorry, two along and one up. So two along and one up, but I've got to times it by three. So instead of going two along, we'll go six along. And instead of going one up, we'll go three up. Because that's a multiple of three, if you like. And I'll put a wee arrow in it. So that's three U. And I've got to add on V. Now, I'm pretty sure that's V there I've got. So it's three along and one up. Yep. So there you go. Uh, three along and one up. Now you've got to join vectors up nose to tail. So there's the nose and there's the tail of the other one. So it's a continuous journey. Basically starting here, the arrow goes to there, joins on to the next one, arrows goes to there. So the resultant vector is your very start point to your end point. So a direct line from the start to the end. So I'm going to do that. So we'll take that here and we'll join it right up to the end. And I'll put a wee arrow on it. So there we have um, three U plus V, and I'll just name it 3U plus V. I'll make it green. I'll make sure to underline the wee bits. So underline the wee parts here, and then we'll just make it green to finish off. And we'll stick it next to it. So 3U plus V. Okay, let's go to question five. So let's read it. So the diagram below shows a square based model of a glass pyramid of height four centimeters. So a couple of important bits there. The height is four. If you, some people miss that. And it's also a square based model. Right. So we've got this kind of diagram here. 3D coordinates. We've got X axis, Y axis and Z axis. It's telling us the coordinates of A is 800. And we're asked to work out the coordinates of D. Now on a square based pyramid, D will be right in the middle. So basically to do that, you need to go along here halfway along there halfway and then finally straight up to get to D. So straight up and down like that, something like that. Um, and I'll just join that wee bit up there. So some something like that. So halfway along this way for your X coordinate, that's well if it's eight and halfway is four. Halfway along this now it's a square so it's eight by eight so that would be four as well. And the height this green bit is also 4. We read that up here. And that's it, basically. Now, if it said the height was 12 up here, it would be 4, 4, and 12. Okay, let's move on to number 6. So the forces acting on the body are represented by three vectors, P, Q, and R. Um, they're given there. Find the resultant. So kind of like question 4, the resultant's when you add them together. So we add them together, P, Q, and R. And just basically what you do is add all the top numbers and kind of move down, if you like. So add all those up. So 4 add negative 3.5, add negative 0 0.5. You can do it in your calculator, but that's just 0. 2 add 0, add 3 is 5, if you move down to that bit. And then adding on this last bit here, uh, you're going to get 4.5 and 4.5, and that's 9, and you're finished. Okay, question 7. Uh, vectors A are 2, 2, and vector B is negative 1, negative 4. Calculate the magnitude of 2A add 3B. Now, before I get the magnitude, I'm just going to work out what 2a plus 3b is. And that's basically 2 times this one plus 3 times this one. Okay, so to multiply uh, components like this by 2 times the top and the bottom by the 2, so that's going to be 4, 4, times the top and the bottom by the 3, that's going to be minus 3 minus 12, and then add them together. So 4 add minus 3 is 1, and 4 add minus 12 is minus 8. Now, to get the magnitude, which is these two lines here, you're basically doing Pythagoras. You're trying to find the length of the line, if you like. That's Pythagoras. So, square root of 1 squared plus minus 8 squared. Just watch that. So, it's negative 8 times negative 8, which is 64. And 1 times 1 is 1. So, that's kind of what you've got there, which is root 65. You can type in your calculator and you should pop out with 8.06.